Today we're going to explore the Profiles function within the Atlas platform. Profiles provides the capability to look at a single patient's observational data throughout the OMOP common data model. To, to go to a profile, select the Profiles function on the left-hand menu. From there, you'll be asked to select one or more databases that represents the population that you'd select an individual from, and to type in a given person ID for that database. Selecting that individual will then load the patient level observations for that patient into this graphical display. Here we can see we've selected a 55-year-old female who has 676 events throughout their time horizon. The graphical display shown here uh, represents data over time, starting at day zero being their date of first observation through their end of their continuous observation. The swim lanes represent the different data domains across the OMOP common data model, including conditions, drugs, devices, measurements, observations, procedures, and visits. And those gray dots you see there represent each of those clinical events time stamped uh, and representing content. If I hover over any of those gray dots, we can see the specific data element of interest. Here we can see on date 197, uh, this person had a uh, condition of obesity. On date 715, they had an event of hypersomnia with sleep apnea. On day 1397, they initiated treatment with citalopram. And here on day 1465, they've started treatment for lisinopril. There's multiple ways to explore the data in a patient profile. In this graphical display, if we're interested in zooming into any particular period of time, we can simply click our cursor and drag to a period of time to be able to explore, to zoom in on a particular period of time. If we further wanted to restrict ourselves to specific swim lanes, uh, we can select the domains of interest uh, under the domain facet um, below. Here I've selected the condition domain and I can see uh, now once I zoom in far enough the labels for each of those conditions do appear on the visualization. If I double click in this graph and deselect that domain I'm back to my starting point showing all data for this individual. Everything that's displayed visually in this graph is also represented in a tabular form down below. This table contains the concept ID, concept domain, concept name, domain, and the start and end date associated with each of those 676 events. If we were interested in searching for any particular uh, concept within there, we can use this filter search to search for concepts. For example, if we're interested in the exposures to lisinopril, we simply can type in lisinopril and we can see that this individual had one dispensing of lisinopril 20 mg oral tablet on day 1465. They had an additional lisinopril 20 mg oral tablet dispense on day 1492. That then made up a drug era for lisinopril, the ingredient that spanned from 1465 to 1582. If I was interested in that specific period of time, I may be interested in zooming into that period when the patient was exposed to the drug. And if I select my drug arrows, indeed we can see lisinopril represented there in the span of time that that patient was exposed. I'm going to double click to zoom out to all of the data. An additional capability to explore the results is to actually color this graph based on characteristics that we may be interested in. Using this paintbrush button in the top right, I can select to search for any particular types of concepts, such as lisinopril, and I can represent these in a particular color by picking the paintbrush color that I'm interested in. And we may be interested in seeing, now that we've selected and colored lisinopril, whether or not there's conditions such as hypertension, the indication that we may be interested in. And we see essential hypertension and benign essential hypertension are concepts. 
Perhaps we will color those in blue to highlight them. And we may be interested in whether or not this patient's experienced any sort of outcomes, such as angioedema. And we'll color those in red. If we go back to our visualization, we now see that this patient had a series of hypertension diagnoses in the condition domain. This patient then received lisinopril as a treatment associated with uh, that indication. But then towards the end of their exposure to lisinopril, we can see that this patient had a diagnosis of angioedema. Patient profile can be used as a mechanism to us to explore this particular space to try to understand a little bit more about what's going on. In this case, we could use this as a potential tool to clinically adjudicate whether or not we have confidence that this diagnosis code of angioedema may be a legitimate event and whether or not that event may be something that we would consider to be potentially attributable to the lisinopril exposure. Here we can see that in addition to being diagnosed with angioedema, there also was a diagnosis of anaphylaxis. We can see that immediately following that diagnosis, there was a dispensing of prednisone, uh, which may be a potential treatment for the uh, angioedema. The patient profile uh, tool uh, provided here allows for you to explore and navigate a given individual uh, and when brought in conjunction with a cohort of patients of interest may be a powerful tool to allow for phenotype evaluation. That's it for our profile tool. If you're interested in learning about any of the additional functionality within Atlas or learning more about the Odyssey community, please check us out at odyssey.org.